In this room you will see the fitted wardrobes which we just made using approximately £100 worth of Conti boards. We have also spent £300 on the rails, the doors and then the chrome rails and the fittings etc. We made the unit up by making the two middle sections first and building up from there. If you watch the photos in a moment you'll see just how and then we'll put the doors on as well later. First of all we started off with our empty space but before making any of the units we decided to make sure that the floor was level so that the doors would run better on the bottom rails. Once we were happy the rails were level we put the carpet back and began cutting shelves out of the Conti board. The units were made up of long pieces of Conti board with the shelves attached. Once one unit was made up this was then put into place and an identical but reversed unit was also made and put into place. These were then joined with a shelf between the two and two further shelves attached to the wall. Rails were then added for the clothes and battens were added to the ceiling that a fascia board could be attached to. The skirting board was cut away to provide a neater finish with the side boards. Then we installed a board for the top track. The room was longer than the length of the board so this was made up in two pieces. The wardrobes were now taking shape. We fastened a fascia board up. This needed an extra piece as well to finish off the end because of the length of the room. The top track of the sliding doors was cut to fit the side panel and walls very neatly. The top track was screwed up along its length and by coincidence was flush with the 9 inch piece of Conti board we had used for the fascia board which only had to be trimmed slightly for the curve of the ceiling at one end. Decorator's fillet was used for a good finish. Now the units and the rails were complete and we were ready for the doors. We have now lifted the doors into place and we've secured the guides into the top rail. Then made sure the doors are vertical and we've screwed the bottom rail to the floor. And then we adjusted the wheels for height and alignment and then locked those as well into place on the rails. So now we've got four doors which we can move about in a variety of ways depending on which section we want to get into. And they align at the ends and in the middle and then that makes great use for storage space in this small main bedroom. Thanks. Bye.